We're celebrating the 37th annual National Girls and Women in Sports Day. The confidence, strength, and character gained through participating in sports can give women and girls the needed tools to become strong leaders in both sports and throughout their lives. And of course, who better to celebrate the big day with other than the Kansas City Current? We've got Alex Loera and Addison Merrick in the house. Thank you guys so much for taking the time and coming in. Yeah, Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. We're happy to be here. Absolutely. And so let's talk a little bit about what does national women in sports day mean to you too yeah i think for me it's just super important because women in sports can be such a powerful thing um and i think it should be celebrated every day but especially to have our own day is really great um and especially in light of everything in the nwsl with the reports coming out just those women that were able to step up um and be brave and courageous and share their story has started to pave a way that creates a safe space for us and our sport and our league. And so I think it's especially important today is to celebrate those women. And you know, you guys say young generations like mm -hmm. us, but there's even younger generations yeah. out there looking up to you guys now. What's it like to be in this position? Um, I think it's really cool. So I actually have a younger sister, so it's kind of cool to get to see her friends get super excited about women's mm -hmm. sports in Kansas City. And just being able to go out and watch a professional team at home, seeing women do something that you want to do when you get older, I think that's really cool. And as my little sister, like I'm getting interviewed by her little friends for class of like, what professional, Cute. what profession do you want to do when you grow up? And I think that is so cool. And it's just shown how big of strides we've already taken bringing women's sports in the conversation. How is the game of soccer shaped who you guys are today? Yeah, I think for me, it just made me kind of this strong woman that I have been. I think a lot of the times I have had to advocate for myself to coaches. And so I think that created a sense of security and confidence in myself to know that what I have to say is valued, especially for me to kind of help with these rookies that are coming in to let them know also that their opinions are valued, that they should be confident in themselves. I think that's just something that I've gotten from sports that I, I don't think I would have gained that skill from not being in sports. Yeah, I definitely think sports kind of helps you find your confidence and kind of helps you figure out who you are. Mm -hmm. There are so many different types of people in sports, so I feel like it just allows you to see people from different cultures at a younger age, and I think that that's super important to just like growth and development. Yeah, having that exposure at yeah. a young age certainly mm -hmm. can make a big difference. How cool is it for you guys? I mean, one year away from playing in the first stadium in the world built for women's soccer, what's it feel like? Oh, I'm beyond excited, especially because it's in my hometown. It's something that we're so proud of. I know everybody that I've talked to is just ecstatic. I'm so pumped to get to see the stadium and play in it for sure. Yeah, I think just to go off that, it's so cool. We're going to be the first female athletes in the world to have this stadium and to play in our own stadium and call it our own. And so I think just having an ownership group that understands how important that is and puts it into action for us is super, super awesome. It's a really exciting time for The Current. You guys recently added some players on for the roster and everything what's it been like bringing these new faces in it's been cool I think we've added a lot of really quality players to our team so I'm really excited to see where this next season goes well I think for me I think I'm super excited just to come off the season that we had last year and continue growing and then just a little fangirl moment like playing with Dabinia literally that is like I've looked up to her my entire life watched her and playing against her is one thing but to actually be on the same team with her, she just brings this world-class attitude and yep. to be able to play under her and learn from her, I think that is incredible. Yep. So I'm like fangirling <laughs> over here, I'm like in front of her trying to keep it cool, but she's like on the inside. She's one of the, the most inside. humble humans you'll ever yeah. meet, so she's awesome. Well, I tell you guys what, it's a good thing my co-host Bill isn't here right now because he'd be fangirling over you guys pretty hardcore. So thank you so much for taking the yeah, time. We yeah. really appreciate it. Thanks for having thank us. You. And of course, The Current are kicking off the 2023 season this spring. Stay tuned for the release of their schedule. That's coming real soon. I'd be fangirling? Bill. Okay. Let's kind of be honest. Bit. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> awesome. That's so cool. I've always, I've, I've never had a chance to meet any of the players. I take that back. I met AD French once at the groundbreaking for the new stadium. But uh, yeah, so cool to have them come in here and you'd be able to talk to them. Yeah, so nice, so down to earth, and mm -hmm. love getting to celebrate them on a day like today. That's right, exactly. And we're excited for their upcoming season. We've already secured our season tickets. So yeah, it sounds like you got some good seats too. I think we do have some good seats. So looking forward to that. That's my wife. I've explained this in the show before. That's my wife. And I was like date night. It's perfect. Because we go to the current match and we have dinner and we have a drink and watch some soccer. It's a good time. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right.